So I saw The Woman in Black, and uh, this movie stars Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, this is his first movie after his long uh, series of Harry Potter movies. This movie from the trailer looked amazing. I mean, it couldn't have been edited any better. It made the movie look so creepy that you just couldn't wait to see it. Especially those commercials where it shows the audience's reactions. And I gotta say that after watching the movie, I don't see what anybody else was seeing. It was a little creepy, but it wasn't scary. I... There are movies out right now, especially with um, that involve ghosts, like Insidious and the Paranormal Activity movies, where um, these ghosts are very malicious. I mean, they're out to get you, they're out to hurt you or kill you or do something. And in this movie, I believe that the ghost was more haunting and just annoying and than being a very malicious ghost. So after a while, some of the jump scenes and the way that uh, the camera tried to edit a very suspense moment just kind of fell short because I didn't believe that Daniel Radcliffe's character was in any danger whatsoever. And it just seemed that the movie was just sort of trying to play out a creative story um, time at a time where uh, they would just put, you know, a spooky moment in between. Uh, once the story unraveled, I wasn't really too impressed by it either. But um, again, I went to see if Daniel Radcliffe can definitely uh, pull off another character aside from his Harry Potter films, and I gotta say that he did an amazing job. And I'd love to see him in more movies uh, in the future, but um, as far as this horror movie um, altogether, it just was not that good. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend this movie to be seen right away. I mean, uh, these are obviously types of movies that you would see in theaters based on the sound and the big screen, but honestly, there is no reason to go right at this moment. Just wait for DVD. As far as the replay value, once you've seen it, you definitely don't need to see it again. There's nothing in here that you won't forget or miss. So overall, Woman in Black gets a 1 out of 5, and um, purely the only thing good about this movie, in my opinion, is Daniel Radcliffe's performance. So um, some people are a little bit squeamish on uh, what they see and, and what scares them, and I gotta tell you, some of the people that um, have talked about this movie said it was really creepy, so you know, maybe you guys might get uh, a little more scared than I did, but... For pure horror, as you've seen in some other ghost movies that's been out lately, you're not going to really get that with this one. So uh, that is my review on Women in Black.